welcome back or to this week's weekly vlog vlog i hope you can see me there's a bit of blowout it's actually a sunny day here in the netherlands uh, it's for, if it's the first time stopping by the channel uh, my name is indeed dawn and i'm originally from manchester which is the northwest of england and for over 22 years i've been living in the netherlands with my partner her lawrence <laughs> and our sons josh and william and our little furry critters jack and daxter so um this week's vlog starts off not quite the saturday that we had it in in mind uh lawrence wanted to go to utrecht he had um he had a fancy for a borough horse roll which is if you don't know in in uh, south africa that's uh like a sausage um in a roll <laughs> uh, not quite a hot dog but that kind of thing uh but i got up quite late because i had a really bad night last night I was up and down several times and I didn't surface till about 10 30 this morning which is not like me uh, Lawrence has been busy doing um, odd jobs what have you done this morning Lawrence fix the shelf in the cupboard and um, fix the tip oh yeah we've got so in uh, our kitchen we've got like a corner unit and it's one of those carousel <coughs> shelves and um, it's broke a few times now hasn't it how have you fixed it then if you put bigger screws in. longer screws yeah it's really good it's saving us a fortune with our jobs and then the kitchen sink tap that's like a mixer tap and it was loose it kept it kept the whole tap kept moving instead of just the actual faucet so he's fixed that but that keeps going loose eh yeah but that faucet's too tight I would, it's a rubbish tap it's a rubbish tap it's an ikea tap Anyway, so Lawrence has been busy on his hands and knees and because he was fixing, he was in under the sink, the kitchen sink, the cupboard and the carousel, uh, he had a good clear out so he's thrown quite a lot of old products um, out. So that was good. Declutter, declutter. Anyway, so as a result, we it's kind of pushing it to get to Utrecht and back because we have to be back about four-ish for our online grocery delivery waffle waffle gone into waffle mode um so uh as a result we're gonna pop to the hockey shop lawrence plays field hockey he wants to something with what do you want to do with your stick a, a, a grip on my stick a a grip. I mean, yeah the, it's like sticky tape so he gets a good grip on the top of his stick so he wants to go to the hockey shop for that and then uh i need to buy a few bits and bobs so i think we're gonna go to whole store and um, that's pretty much our day today. Last night we went to our local Japanese restaurant for sushi, just two of us, and it was delicious. It was so nice, but I think something just didn't agree with me. And that's no reflection on the food because we've never ever had bad food there, ever. But um, anyway, it was nice. Did you enjoy it last night, Lawrence? Yeah, What's your favourite thing from the Japanese? I like the, um, you like the maki, the little, like the sushi rolls. Yeah, but also like that, the, the, the starters one. The whole first board up to the, up to I get to the third meal, it's all nice. Yeah, because at uh, the, uh, the Japanese that we go to, it's, you get five rounds of five dishes. And uh, I think it's a pretty similar format everywhere you go. And you get like a little iPad or a tablet and then you just pick what you want. And uh, we always have a glass, one or two glasses of our favourite Japanese plum wine. And we found, we found a, sh a localish uh, shop, uh, like an Asian supermarket that sells the same wine. How much did we pay for our bottle of wine? Did I say last nine night? Euros, twelve euros. Nine or twelve. It's nine or twelve euro, and the Japanese twenty six euros a bottle. Twenty six euro a bottle. It's just, it tastes exactly the same. I think we should have a glass of, of that tonight because we've opened it. I don't know how long it keeps for. In the fridge yeah. Oh, it's so it's nice. Sweet. Yeah. It's really. It's like a dessert wine. It's it is sweet, but it's got like that plummy tang to it. A bit sweet and sour. It's delicious. I like mine with ice. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. So the vlogs, the vlog has begun. The week has begun, and uh, let's see what we get up to together this week. Uh, see you in a while. Say bye, Lawrence. Bye. back we literally got home with about five or ten minutes to spare before the um delivery 
Okay, I'm sorry, my ears really itchy just on the top. Um, we stopped in Bagels and Beans for um, bagels <laughs> uh, for a late lunch, and then uh, um, there was a queue outside the Susten Grenno, which opened yesterday. Uh, however, the shop was empty, so I don't know why. I don't know why there was. They were they were making people wait outside and made it look busier than it was. But anyway, I didn't have to wait too long, so I just quickly zipped in because I did have something in mind. In case you're wondering, that's the shop uh, I'm all about. Sorry, Here you go. And they're all over the Netherlands, but. It's a mission for me to get to one because I either have to go into Amsterdam or Utrecht. I don't know if there's one in Harden. I've not seen one. Anyway, what do you know? They've got, they have our favourite licorice fudge. So we're going to do a taste test. This is the one that we normally get from the normal, which we love. I've never seen it before. Literally, I've, we've only ever seen it in the normal. So uh, we're going to, we'll do a little taste test. And then I couldn't resist this super cute super cute little suitcase which i'll use as a display for something at some point that's the inside of it um and then i just threw all my bits and bobs i've got some lovely napkins a little bit like a liberty print kind of thing uh i've got some more polystyrene i don't know what that was eggs and then i bought a couple of uh little uh egg hangers got these two glass ones one's like a a green if you can see against and then ones of like a lilac colour and then I got these two uh hangers I don't know what they're made out of like plastic but they've got like paper decoupage on it and then I got three they, have, they only had three colours in this so I've got one of each colour these adorable adorable little tiny chicks uh, there's like this peachy colour, is this so cute, lemon and then this nice lilac colour, three little chickies. Uh, so um, I need to go into the garden and see if, this, if, I've got a, if I've got a branch I can snip because I want to hang uh, hangers, Easter hangers on them or spring hangers uh, on a branch and I'll pop the branch in the lion head and I still have to do my little display. Anyway, I'm going to get the kettle on. Uh, we've groceries all put away now. It's uh, just gone quarter past four. So we're going to chill out this afternoon. Uh, Josh was not eating with us. Not sure if William's working or not. So if it's just Lawrence and I, I think we'll just fling a oven pizza in the oven later on because we had a late lunch, as I said. Uh, right, I'm going to stop waffling and I'll catch you in a while. <laughs> Sorry, noisy kettles on. Uh, I'm just making a bite to eat. It's 12.30. Um, Lawrence is at hockey. He's got a match today. I think he's playing at home, I thought he said. Uh, Josh was injured, so he's not playing football today. William's only going to be playing at the start of the next season, I thought he said. He's training. He's, he's joined an, an old but new football club, if that makes sense. It's the one he was in when he was little, and then he left. And then he played at another club for many years and then he's decided to go back to his old club which is who joshua plays for they're not in the same teams because obviously age difference um anyway well, did i i can't remember if i told you about that uh wine that we have at the japanese the plum wine and that it was i think i did i think it was Lauren. did we talk about it in the car i can't remember terrible it's like i'm like a goldfish i swim once around the bowl and forget that i've been there bear with me anyway if i did this is the one that we bought from and it tastes just the same as the one in uh, our japanese restaurant and uh, yes i think lawrence said it was between nine and twelve euro and in the japanese it's 25 26 euro so this is the one we like choya original japanese umi umi fruit but in the um in the Asian supermarket, when we asked her about uh, plum wine, she said, oh yeah, this is the one you want. So it looks like a plum. 
so it's delicious i had a we've been drinking this we've had a few glasses out of it but um i had a glass last night it was delicious and it, it i can have a couple of glasses and it doesn't make me feel ill so i don't know if that's something to do with the fermenting process anyway waffle waffle so um what have i been up to this morning um i caught up on a little bit of youtube just a little bit um because i just i don't know if it, i just it makes me a bit sad because i've got i've made so many amazing friends through through my social media and i just don't have the time to watch them all which is annoying because also i have fomo and a fear of missing out that they share something uh i religiously watch Jeanette and Karen because they're my girls they're my besties and you know we have um we have a very very good friendship outside of social media world and um I try and support Elise as often as I can who's um Elise Rose Crochet I was forget she changed her channel name because Elise is actually one of my very very first um Instagram friends so we've been friends for many years and actually uh i had my youtube channel uh before her oh she's doing fabulous she's doing fantastic anyway i watched elise because uh her husband mr elise was um was in her last video even if you're not interested in crochet go and watch it it was so interesting like really go to the end watch to the end and i was like my gosh it was like a science experiment. I learned loads, actually. So, um, and it's really sweet that he was on the video helping out. It was so lovely. But um, anyway, so I've, I've caught up on a few videos. Loads of people are doing March vlogs. And I've just not been able to catch up. Alex and and, uh, and Danny have been doing it at, at my Yarny Corner. I've been doing, did February vlogs. And I think I literally caught one or two. So, I don't know. It just, it, it does upset me because I do love to support my friends. Anyway. I'm sure they understand. They can't watch everything as well, you know. Otherwise, we'd just spend our whole lives watching YouTube videos. Um, so, yeah. And then I went upstairs. I've showered. I've washed my hair. I don't like how it's dried. It, I've, it's still a little bit damp. I'm kind of leaving it to see if it drops a bit. But it's just not long enough to get the straighteners on it yet. And, um, and still get that... See that weird wave? Tomorrow it'll be fine. Anyway. Um, and then the other thing... I gave myself a bit of a spring clean. I have not shaved my legs since I went to, since I went to Kenya in January. Can you believe that? And they were really like disgusting. And not that I'm going to be flashing my legs anytime soon, but they were just annoying me. So I thought, you know what? Get the lawnmower out. You're going to give your legs a trim dawn. So I did. They've got nice. I'm wearing my uh, my comfy pants. And uh, they feel all soft when I'm walking. The fabric. Who's that? Somebody's parked outside our house. And it's not Lawrence. I hope they're not coming here. I've got my comfy pants on and I've not cleaned the ground floor. It's the neighbour. Sorry, I'm nosy. Jack! Jack's standing guard in the, in the window. Shh. No, it's, a, it's fine. Come in. Yes. Um, anyway, I think you would have seen some footage. I have been doing a bit of crafting. Um, I, um, I, I found some branch twiggies off, uh, I found. I cut some um, twigs off the apple tree to make my little um, hanging tree to put my um, eggs on. I don't like them. So actually, Lawrence suggested yesterday, when I get back from hockey, why don't we go to the garden centre, see if we can buy you some nice, like, twisty willow kind of branches. So I said, yes, that would be nice. We'll go and see what spring things they've got in the garden centre. Um, and then you might have seen, behind you, on the, on the dining table, Joshua is complaining. He said, when are you going to move all your stuff? Because it's still piled high with craft stuff and it's getting the pile is getting higher and higher but I'm just working on little bits of everything at a time and then I start new things it's terrible I really have to clear it all off I think and he, what I did today you might have seen it I painted uh the little fire that I made for my uh little room box and then some of the polystyrene eggs um I found some um lovely napkins I think I might have shown you in Sustran Grenna whatever it's called like liberty print paper napkins so I've um 
decoupage some of the polystyrene eggs so they're drying and um yeah i really have to clear some stuff he has got somewhere to sit we always have tea for dinners often we're all eating at different times sort of in and out in and out but anyway isn't that terrible such a terrible mother and a terrible housewife whatever one of them is these days i work in a lot as well right i'm going to stop waffling if lawrence and i go to the garden center uh maybe i'll do a bit of take a bit of footage and we'll see it should be um there should be loads of flowers in there now you know like um uh daffodils um tulips and uh, narcissus um hyacinths um um snowdroppy kind of things all those kind of flowers tell i'm not a gardener there should be loads for sale so it'd be nice hopefully we'll have a look and if we don't it's because lawrence is probably tired or injured himself but anyway let's see uh see you in a while <laughs> in the door anyway um so today is my short day uh although it's a little bit shorter today because i'm on the way to the hospital i am going to harlem to a skin clinic um i've mentioned this a few times i've got these broken capillaries on my face that i just don't like so ooh, i'm gonna see if i can have something done about them We'll see, we'll see. Um, I mean, if it's if it's not covered on my insurance and it runs into the thousands, then it won't happen. But I mean, if, if my insurance doesn't cover it and it's somewhat affordable, um, then I'll, I'll go for it. But anyway, today's the consultation and uh, I'll see what they've got to say. Um, I'm trying to think. I, did I last speak to you? I think it was Sunday, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Sunday. Um, hopefully you've seen some footage of oh, uh, the garden centre. So Lawrence came back from hockey really late on Sunday. And um, if you're familiar with the uh, expression, uh, I put a flea in his ear. Because I wasn't very happy because he didn't bother letting me know uh, that he was... Um, he played a game and then he refereed a game which is fine but he also took my keys to go and pick something up from my workshop he didn't bring my keys back so he had he took this car and my car key 
for the little car he had with him as well. So, and it was actually not bad weather on Sunday. And I actually had some things in mind that I wouldn't have minded doing. But um, yeah, I was carless. So yes, Lawrence got uh, the proverbial flea put in his ear. Um, he, redeemed, he redeemed himself because uh, the garden centre didn't close until six. So um, we went and um, I think hopefully you would have seen, and if you haven't, I'll, I'll film something. Um, I got a little branch of cherry blossom and pussy willow and I've hung all my little eggs and bits and bobs on it and it start, it's starting to look a little bit spring-like summery around the fire but I've, I've still got loads to do, just not had the time. Um, oh and the other thing I bought, uh, I bought a little bowl of, um, I don't know, are they miniature daffodils or nar narcissus is it? I don't remember what they are but they're lovely. Half of them were in bloom and now more, more or less they're all out in bloom. So I must remember to plant them uh, out in the garden when I'm done with them because I really, really like them. They're so cute. They're really little teeny weeny ones. Um, so what else have, have I been up to? So I've worked from home all week. I didn't go to the office yesterday because uh, Monday, I think it was about 5.30ish, something like that. Um, I just, I was wrapping up for the day, stood up and my back went. So I don't know if I've been sat for quite a few hours in a funny position, but all the, my uh, lower back was like spasming. It's definitely muscle. And um, I was in agony. Anyway, on Tuesday, yesterday, Tuesday, I thought, well, I'll set the alarm and if I'm feeling okay, I'll go in. Anyway, I woke up, my back was still like killing me. So, um, I've just worked from home and I always work from home on a Wednesday anyway. Uh, it is feeling a bit better. It's not better yet. I think by the end of the week it should be uh, should be okay because I'm just resting it. I'm not pushing it at all. So um yeah I've been um I've been stuck indoors since Sunday, which is fine. Uh it's been raining non-stop and then what do you know today? It's um it's nice and sunny. I'm trying to see it's it's currently 13 degrees outside which is positively balmy um what else there was a few other things i was going to tell you i'm going to clean out my mind oh tomorrow is william's birthday the birth door i need to ask him if he wants to um go out for dinner birthday birthday person always chooses what the dinner is for their birthday so um knowing william if he's not working, he'll probably ask for um, curry. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, and the other thing, which was really cute. Um, so uh, Joshua's uh, friend, Kay. Hello, Kay, if you're watching. Uh, she lives in Thailand. She sent Joshua over um, a, a really big box of uh, snacks and goodies from Thailand to try. So... It, ooh, when it arrived, I, uh, I said, oh, should we do a tasting, unboxing tasting on the vlog? Well, you can imagine what the answer to that was. It was a resounding no. But um, we did taste a few things uh, whilst uh, Kay was on the call. And uh, she sent some lovely things. She's really spoiled him. So um, he said, he asked, oh, you know, if he, well, asked, he said he wanted to send a box back over to her so she could um try some dutch or european goodies so i said you know what let me take care of that for you <laughs> otherwise oh, i think she'd be disappointed <laughs> you know men are not very good at shopping for these kind of things i'm stereotyping here so um anyway um on friday i've, I've actually it's first friday and i don't know how long i've got free so uh on friday i'm gonna go to hofdorp and I'll buy some bits and bobs for Josh to send over. But the the reason I'm going to Hofdorp is, um, I don't know why it just uh, popped in my head. I'm in the wrong lane. It popped into my head. I wonder if my, um, I wonder if I can renew my phone yet because it's changed from T-Mobile to Odido, I think it is a supplier. So um, I went online and had a look and sure enough it said, uh, oh, you can, uh, you can renew your phone. 
so I was like oh that seemed to go really quick I actually don't need a new phone but if it's part of my contract but well I'll have a look I'm actually really pleased with this one this one I've got is an Oppo uh, I'm not sure is it is an Oppo 8 Pro I think maybe and it's been really really good phone but moreover it's been a really good camera the camera quality is fantastic Oops, sorry I'm doing a Grand Prix here speeding um but i thought well i'll have a look i'll take a look and um the site sorry there's something sliding around it the site you can do like phone comparisons so i compared the new oppo i think it's the oppo 10 pro and the samsung i've always well that's strictly not to speak strictly speaking that's not exactly true i've mainly had samsung phones i have had an iphone oh gosh i think it was an iphone three many years ago and uh, which I really liked but then when they went to the iPhone 4 I, I really just detested the model it was terrible so then I moved to Samsung and I went from I, went, I was with Samsung for many years and then the last couple of years I don't know, I think I wasn't happy with the last Samsung I'd had I forget what it was now was it an S9 I really didn't like it the, the camera was rubbish the quality was terrible and um, that's when I made the move to go to Oppo. And I must say, I've been very, very happy with Oppo. Anyway, waffle, waffle. So I did a phone comparison with the new, well, new, new, uh, Samsung S24 Ultra, I think it is. But the one with like quite high specs, I still had to pay, I don't know, I think it was about 200 euro towards it. And I was like, well, I'm not doing that for a phone. Anyway, I've shown Lawrence. Lawrence loves tech. It's like techie, techie, techie. And um, I always, I choose my own phones, but I always show him like, what do you think? And on the um, on the camera, the, the camera and the video quality, it did perform a lot higher than the Oppo. But there was a couple of other things that the Oppo was better, but not enough to swing it. So anyway, long-winded story. I've ordered the new um, the new S24. I've, no, I've ordered a new phone, the S24 Ultra. If anyone's got it, let me know. I hope I'm not going to be disappointed with the purchase. But um, the other thing, um, when I was when we were, when we ordered it. You got a free uh, Samsung smartwatch with it. And what do you know? I bought Lawrence a smartwatch, a Samsung watch, years ago for, I don't know, some birthday or Christmas. And he loves it. He said it's one of the best watches he's ever had. He sleeps in it. He's, he loves it. It's really, really good. And it's just the last few years started playing up. Have I took the wrong turn off here? I hope not. No, I think I'm lying. Um, and it's just sort of, it's coming, you know, it's getting a bit old. And I think at Christmas, we discussed about me buying him a new one for Christmas. And they did some kind of plant that you could return your old one. And it, they would like a part X. And I said, oh, we'll figure it out. And then Lawrence said, oh, yeah, I'm not in any rush. Let's look after Christmas. So anyway, I said to him when I was ordering it, I said, you, get a, you, get, you can have a new smartwatch. It's quite good. Well, what did we have one year? We got um, we got Samsung earbuds one year when we renewed our phones. Anyway, it's very happy. Check the specs, and it's actually it's not the brand 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 new one that's just come out, but it's the one that's the current one. So we're super happy with that. So anyway, in a long-winded way, I have to go to Whole Foods anyway and pick my phone up. I did uh, from the shop that our in-store pick up, and um, I'll go and get a few bits and bobs for Joshy. And uh, yeah, that's what I'll be doing on Friday. Um, I can't think what else. There was something else. Maybe it's gone out of my mind what I was going to tell you. On the crafty front, I've not done much at all. Uh, just because I've been so busy. At night, we've been watching uh, Married at First Sight Australia. Maths has started. It's, it's going quite well. Very, uh, very into it already. And uh, Big Brother UK has um, just come back on the screens. And we went off it for years. We've not watched it. I think they keep trying to revive it. Every year they put it on a different channel and 
I, I think they've been it's been a bit of a flop but this year I said to Lawrence I fancy watching it because I hear there was quite a few you know like celebrities that we might know who they are so we watched um, the launch and um, who's uh, Sharon Osbourne and Louis are in it so um, we've and it actually it starts as maths finishes so we just flicked over quite enjoying it actually surprisingly and Kate Middleton's I should call Kate Middleton uh, Prince, the Princess of Wales um, Catherine's um, Uncle Gary is, is in it as well so I think the, the British press are waiting for him to uh, oh I need to go in this lane are waiting for him to start spilling the beans on the royal family controversy 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 so um, yeah and as I said I've just been playing knitting on a pair of socks what else no I think that's all I've got I'm, I'm kind of waffled out now right I need to concentrate now because I'm almost in Harlem and then I need to focus on where I need to go and I'm pushing it a bit time for time all right I will catch you in a while well that was super quick I spent more time in the waiting room than I did with the doctor <laughs> but um she uh she had a look and she said uh indeed they're broken capillaries uh they look really good for treating but they don't do them there uh, i would have to go to um another clinic and she recommended one actually close by that they use a lot uh but i was um, i don't know and then um i said well if you give me the name i can google i'll just find my own if that's the case because you know if it's not going through the insurance I can, i'm free to do what i like and um the assistant um, kindly had a look and she said the clinic that they recommend also has a practice in my village that does the treatment so um, I give them a call I don't know if it'll be today but I'll definitely I'll, I'll see if they've got a website first and have a look and and then they really well they're not so funny thing so you can see I've got like this off-white cream sweat like sweatshirt on the parking spaces were tiny and I had to squeeze uh, through the car next to me and I've got the back of my sweater is filthy it's black so I'm not very happy about that but anyway um, so as I was getting out pulling out of the parking space when I'd finished there was a quite a big car uh, waiting to come in next to me and um, he saw the gentleman saw that I was reversing out so he said he waved like you know you go first and um, it's only my old um, GP, <laughs> my old uh, doctor, who retired years ago. So I put the window down and I, and I said, hey, doctor, his name. And he took his sunglasses off and he looked at me and hey, like you recognise me. And I said, oh, you look so well. And he went, well, yeah, not on the inside. Oh. But uh, he was with his wife, I assume. She, she'd got out of the car first. So, um, well, you know, he was waiting to bark up and I was needed to go but uh it was so funny that i'd seen him anyway i remembered what i wanted to tell you so the hospital called me yesterday um for the sleep apnea test hurrah so i've got an appointment in a couple of weeks i think they found something off the test they did because the receptionist said it's it's a long appointment because you're gonna have to see three different people I was like what so the first appointment is with the lung clinic which is um who i did the test with after i've seen the lung clinic i have to go to the um can know what's going on, ear nose and throat clinic and then uh i see a nurse so i don't you know they won't tell you over the phone what what the test results um revealed but if they've put me in for three different people then clearly they've found something but it's not clear if it's if i did show up for sleep apnea or something else i don't know anyway all will be revealed so i'll keep you posted on that let you know how i get on and i'll let you know how i get on with them um, i've got no makeup on today but uh she had a look at uh they're on my chin she said she said, oh they're quite old I said, yeah, I've, I've had them for many years. And then I've got one here that is, it's it's spreading. And I think it's only one. It's just, you know, because it spiders out. Anyway, apparently the treatment, it's IPL. 
or it's a, it's a laser and it's a light therapy so i don't think it'll be really expensive anyway i'll go online and have a look we'll see we'll see it's worth doing so just i don't want to wear come on you can go out i just don't want to wear um face makeup at all i'd rather have them zapped and you know carry on without wearing foundation and concealer and cover up and everything um which is funny because i do like eye makeup but i don't like face makeup right i'm gonna stop waffling now um i don't need my nav on my sat nav because even though i only lived in harlem which is where i am now for a year i know it like the back of my hand in fact i think i know my way around harlem way better than i do amsterdam although technically i don't live in amsterdam but you think because it was closer i would know amsterdam better but i don't i just i know even if i don't know the names of the streets i can always find my way of where i am and where i need to go so anyway waffle waffle i'll um i'll catch you later see you in a while you can feel it lot of blowout the sun is right here and it's um it looks deceptively warm but actually it's six degrees it's a little bit on the nippy side uh, i'm on the way to hofdor uh to pick up a phone and i think i think i'm meeting nicola about midday i don't know maybe we'll get a coffee or a bite to eat or something um she was she wanted to pop over today for coffee but i said oh i'm, I'm out nearly all day so i said well why don't you come to Hofstra up? So she, she's got something on. So um, if she can, she'll drive herself and meet me there and then she's free to zip off to wherever, wherever she needs to go. Uh, waffle, waffle. Um, I've woke up this morning exhausted. Well, it's, there's nothing in there. But this morning I feel really tired. Um, I think I get to the end of like my work week and um, my energy reserves are just um, white. And even though technically i've been lying in my bed for about eight hours i feel like i've had two hours sleep <laughs> it's probably i probably have had two hours sleep without realizing i just can't wait to get these test results because if it isn't that if it isn't sleep apnea maybe it's something else but it's something's got to be done now because i'm getting to the point where i'm actually i'm struggling to function i can't keep on top of the housework and you only see you know a few minutes of my day you know even crafting it looks like i've done a lot i've not in fact i've not done anything all week i think i've knitted a few rounds on a pair of socks that's it i've just not even got energy for that at the moment and like today going out i have to go out see i need to go and pick my phone up and i have to pick my phone up because you need um you need id oh it's blocking the whole road that's a clever of him um Lawrence can't pick it up on my behalf, for example. So, um, yeah, I have to go out, but anyway, it's fine. I'm okay, I'll be good. You know, I won't be, uh, I won't overdo it, but it's just the same thing every night. Just after dinner, that's it, I'm finished. Whatever, whatever little reserve I had is pretty much gone at that point. Gosh, I've just gone into a right long waffle mode. Um, I'm hoping, what's the time? Oh, it's 10 o'clock now, should be. The shops, I think they open at 10 in Hovedorp. I think I'm still saying the same. Um, and Monday, I don't know where you live, but the Monday, the a lot of like village shops don't open at all, or they might open midday. And also in like shopping centres, they'll pretty much all open around midday if at all usually the bigger stores will open i think when i was little it, wednesday was our uh, short or full day of closing um and apparently i don't know how true this is apparently it used to be tuesday over here which i find a random day wednesday kind of makes sense to me because it's like halfway through the week 
and Monday also kind of makes sense because it's like a long weekend. And if you're a shop worker, if you have to work at the weekend. But, um, ooh, the car's just jumped the red light then. My gosh. Um, anyway, I've just gone into total, total waffle mode. Uh, last night, so um, as predicted, William asked for curry for dinner. So um, we um, are cleared all the crafting rubbish off the table. <laughs> I've, messed, I've messed it up now. I don't know where, what's stuffed in what bag, but it's fine. And uh, we, we at, at, at the table together and Lawrence bought a tiny little cake and put candles on it and we sang and he blew them out. I said, who wants a piece of cake? Nobody wanted a piece of cake except me. And um, then everybody disappeared. So uh, I was like, okay, well, happy birthday. He, did, he said he had a nice day. Um, that's the main thing. I'm a bit annoyed though, because he, he asked for this really, really expensive tracksuit from Lawrence and I. And um, I ordered it. And um, they, so they confirmed it. I was tracking the package and um, it, it was due to arrive on his birthday. We wasn't expecting it. And they split, split it in two halves and not told us. So he only got the top, which he's happy with. He wore, he was put it straight on and out. But um, it was stupid. Not very good, anyway. No idea when the bottoms would turn up. Uh, so he was thoroughly spoiled. He got money and he got nice goodies. So some smellies and clothes. I mean, yeah, what do teenage boys want anyway, you know? Um, then there was something else. Oh yeah. So I made an appointment with the skin clinic to see about this laser treatment. Uh, I could do it online, so it's on Wednesday after I finish work, but I've not heard from them since, so I'm just going to pitch up and hope you know that their booking system is a good one, online booking system. So let's see, that will be exciting, interesting, interesting. And I think, I think maybe Nicola's meeting me around midday. She wanted to pop over today for a coffee, but I said, oh, I'm not home. And rather than come with me to Hove I think she's got errands to run. So I think, I think her goal is she's going to come and meet me. Maybe we'll have coffee or lunch and then she'll go off and do her own thing. Go and do her own chores. So that's nice. The only thing is, Nicola and I are knitters and there's no wool shopping in Hove <laughs> which is not a bad thing save us some money right i am going to stop waffling now um if anything interesting happens uh, i'll try and film it and if not if i buy something if i buy the bits and bobs um i'll show you when i get home and uh, maybe maybe next week's vlog is filmed on my new camera so i'm going to be interested if you see any difference in in the quality of the uh the film we'll see i doubt it but anyway I'm curious, it'll be a fun experiment. All right, I'll catch you in a while. You can hear me, I'm sat in the garden. Lawrence is watching a movie and he can't pause it. Um, it's not too cold. There is a bit of wind, so I hope it's not picking up too much on the camera. <clears throat> when I got home, I think it was about two, I had to go to bed. I'm absolutely exhausted. I didn't really sleep, it was more snoozing, but anyway, I had a lovely lunch with Nicola. Did you see, she was wearing her ranunculus. Uh, bought a couple of things, I'll show you quickly because I'm not sure with the wind. Uh, Sustrant, Grenna, bought some new napkins, just paper napkins, aren't they lovely? They remind me of like, William Morris meets, meets Wedgwood. I uh, bought a couple of these really cute little uh, vintage type um, Easter eggs. They're, they're just made of cardboard. Um, I thought I'd give their decoupage glue a go. And I bought, I didn't see this last time I was in there, this super cute ribbon. How adorable is that? It's like real, like vintage 1940s, 50s style. Anyway, right, it is a bit chilly. So I'm going to wrap up this week's weekly vlog. Thanks again for joining me this week. Um, I've not even opened my phone yet. So hopefully it'll be all up and running and we can use it next week. Uh, I think tomorrow, Lawrence said 
he wants to go to Utrecht for a Boravos role, which was what we was going to do last weekend, but it didn't happen. The grocery delivery is coming this evening between 7 and 8. So, by all accounts, we've got all day tomorrow to just please um, ourselves. Although, I need to give the house a real good clean in the morning. It is filthy. It needs vacuuming, dusting. It's, it really, I'm ashamed of it. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks for tuning in. I um, hope you've all had a good week. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.